Hey everybody, I am Drac. We are back, and this is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. We are into part five now, and uh, on our way up into the Ice Pyramid to free the Water Crystal. While kicking butt along the way. Yeah, you gotta love the fact that these uh, invisible enemies just like to be invisible, I guess. I don't know. I I like the idea in the Ice Pyramid that they are invisible just to kind of get people used to... Um, get them used to random encounters. But they're not really random. Even I could kind of predict where one was going to be. All right, so, I don't know. more brown chests with arrows and heal potions none of which I don't think I needed yeah I'm sitting at 92 arrows so maybe arrows more than heal potions but okay and right now it's just it's not only trying to get all the way up to free the water crystal but also just checking around to see if maybe there's a red chest that I didn't remember or anything like that And gotta love Stony Roos and all that. Yeah, this place is a long place, so I'm thinking I'm trying to think of things to uh, bring up in here, but uh, not a whole lot's coming up just because it's the Ice Pyramid and it's a long slog. Uh, one thing that I could bring up is uh, just a quick update on current games. I have been playing a lot. I finally was able to beat a couple of them. I beat. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2 finally, so now I can get into the other Ezio games and get my uh, work my way up to 3. That'll be awesome. Uh, another thing I've been playing for a while is I've been trying to catch up to the LEGO games. I I'm not I'm not a big fan of the LEGO games, but occasionally they're they're just good for a laugh. Uh, so I I tried to just start up on a few of them, being that I'm I'm interested in the lego marvel one that's coming out pretty soon as well as the new one that came out for the wii u uh, lego city undercover that looked really interesting i don't even know why i'm planning for that i don't even have a wii u yet what yeah i don't have a wii u yet um main reason being is that they haven't announced a lot of games that i'm interested in i'm pretty sure there are a lot of people in that problem uh you know we want to have a wii u but they don't have a whole lot of games for it right now, and, and I was hoping to see a lot more third-party support for Wii U, but nothing. Uh, I mean, we got, you know, an Arkham City uh, Wii U port, we got Assassin's Creed 3, and, and a bunch of other games, but really the, the newer stuff, newer, has been uh, Mario Brothers U, which is, you know, another new, Mar new Super Mario Brothers, so that's gonna be good. Uh, and then Nintendo Land, which is supposedly, you know, the, the new Wii Sports. And it looks fun. You know, it, it's interested me enough that, you know, when I get a Wii U, I am definitely going to get the bigger package, which comes with Nintendo Land. So that looks interesting. But aside from that, not, not a whole lot. I mean, LEGO City Undercover is probably the only third-party title I'm interested in. I, I just haven't seen anything other major. Uh, Pikmin 3, but again, that's first party. So, one of the things I'm kind of hoping on is, you know, we're getting really close to the to the video game conventions here, and I, I'm hoping that we can get some third party announcements from Nintendo. I would love to see what, what some of the companies are, are looking into. I'm sure you're going to get some some obligatory titles. I mean, Square Enix will probably have a Crystal Chronicles or something like that that they want to de debut. It'd be really cool if the next uh, Final Fantasy Roman Numeral was going to be coming out for Wii U, uh, as well as like PS4 and the new Xbox. It's, you know, we're going to get console announcements. That's just the bottom line. We're going to see what the PS4 looks like. We're going to get more details, probably even a game lineup. Um, so I mean that that's obvious, but I would I would just like to see you know what Capcom has in mind for the Wii U, what uh, Konami does, and uh, see if it's worthwhile. I would also like to see you know what other games are going to get announced for the PS4. 
which we have some info, but not a whole lot. So. And I love it. I'm sleeping. My party's sleeping on the job. Man. Smack him around. Seriously. Now, also, one thing that I do want to bring up is, uh, you know, one, one question that I've been getting asked a, a little bit by people who've been uh, watching both the Draken Shadow as well as uh, Alex, I think, has gotten a suggestion or two along the way, but uh, mainly from the Draken Shadow is that, you know, when it, are you just planning on, on doing LPs? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, I've, I've got plenty that I would like to work on, but time is, is kind of a factor. I'm a full-time college student who does a lot of work with his uh, school's radio station. And, uh, you know, have, I have my own radio, radio program there. I'm working on these LPs. I'm working on uh, other projects, so as well as, uh, as well as stuff with Alex. So I've got ideas. I just need to find the time. I need to find, uh, if I'm going to film it, I need to be able to film it. And then uh, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, right now, I would love to be able to do, like, a... Uh, uh, movie or a game review kind of deal. Uh, mainly new games, maybe even a like a old school game review show, and then I would love to be able to review like the upcoming blockbusters. I, I'm also planning on doing that on the radio program. For those who might be interested, it's on uh, RadioSLCC.com and the show is Adam's Evening of Geekery. Hail to the Geekery! Um, I'm more ecstatic on the show, I promise, but uh, it's just late. And it's been a long day, but I wanted to get some parts of uh, Mystic Quest done. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me, you can also reach me at my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash drac2326, like the YouTube channel. Uh, and then I also have a Tumblr blog, which is, uh, I believe it's drac2326 at tumblr.com. Yeah, I think so. Or drac2326.tumblr.com. Uh, and yeah, I would love to hear you guys' feedback. I would love to hear suggestions of what you would like to, to see me do an LP on. Uh, I, I'm not going to claim to have played a lot of games, so if you have suggested something that I haven't played, at the very most, what you might see me say is, okay, well, I will play it first, and then I will do an LP of it. Just because I don't, I don't want to give you an inefficient playthrough. I want to uh, have a good time with you guys, but also... Uh, bust through the games. So, uh, bust through the games, have a good time, and get through the story. Because I, I do believe, in when I pick these LPs, that these games have good stories, and therefore would like to show you those stories. And I seem to be lost. No, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm actually looking for a secret uh, passage, which this pyramid has a, a few of. Because I'm trying to get my way up to... Uh, I think it's Ice Golem that the boss that is the boss. Oh, and I'm also trying to find a way to get that brown jazz just to see what it is. And I haven't, so screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the next floor. Uh, one other thing I would also like to do is E3 coverage. I would lo love to be able to give my opinion on uh, where I think the gaming world is going after E3 and. Uh, Start kind of making predictions for the holiday season. You know, what's going to be game of the year, what isn't. Mm. Stuff like that. And unfortunately, I've I've been playing a lot of games, and, and mm. so I, I was hoping to get into more Dragon Quest last couple of weeks, but I'm um, getting ready to end a semester, and so I haven't had time. But I will get right back into that, so I can consider whether or not to do that. That would be interesting to do the Final Fantasy games and then do their competition, or competition years ago. And you'll notice a lot of switches that involve the sword. I think this is the only dungeon that actually involves switches you're going to have to use uh, with the sword. And we'll find out in a bit uh, why that is. It, it makes sense. I will say this, uh, one game that I'm actually excited for, you know, I keep on segueing here, sorry guys, I, you know, 
ADD a little bit. Um, one of the things I'm excited for is that I just found out uh, a week or two ago that the Shroud of the Avatar Kickstarter got funded. I'm excited. I would love to see um, Ultima come back and uh, redeem itself from the crap, absolute bullcrap that EA did to it. Um, and I don't, I halfway blame that on Richard Garriott, but at the same time, you know, EA had had mandate there, and and uh, we're more interested in in the money that like Ultima Online had gotten them probably, and also at that given. Yeah, yeah there, there's so many things to say about EA, you know. I get that, I get it as a business that money is, is kind of the prime motivator, but maybe I, I don't get the numbers right, but you have the major sports licenses. You have the NFL paying you, you have NBA paying you, you have NHL, and uh, you spend that time on those games, and, and there really isn't much to do because, truth be told, I may be wrong on this, but... Unless it's a new console, they don't look much different. The only thing that's different each year on them is the rosters, and even then, that could be that could be a DLC update. EA, come on, you're you're expecting people to dole out sixty bucks just because uh, you want to, or just for an updated roster, and that just that sucks. And at the same time, they make movie games, and ugh, I'll admit, some have been interesting. I personally thought that doing Harry Potter games in the in the Zelda engine worked, but then the later Harry Potter games happened, and ugh, ugh, that's all I have to say on that matter. Um, and that that's EA's reputation right there. And so when you have companies like Bioware, I feel bad for them because EA is just more interested in, in pumping out products so that they can make more money. And companies like Bioware want to take their time and they want to be able to do their best with uh, with a franchise. I, I personally think that a lot of the problems with Mass Effect, and I haven't played the third one yet, I'm actually working my way through two and almost done, uh, that the problems that I've heard about three sounded a lot like what happened with Origin and... Oh, and I just realized that. Origins uh, was Garriott's company. And then they named their Steam service Origin. That is bullcrap. Wow, I didn't realize that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of the problems that they had with freaking Ultima that happened with both the Old Republic as well as Mass Effect. It just it frustrates the living crap out of me. You know, you could have these really, really good games if you held back on those companies and you let them do the job and you let them do their job well but you know I I'll admit I, I, I haven't followed them avidly so you know if somebody wants to point out that yeah you yeah, gave them the, the stuff to do that I, I definitely agree up on it but it just kind of makes me feel bad for companies like Bioware when you have problems like Mass Effect 3 and, and huge outcry against them Reason EA earned the the Pooh Award two years in a row, it really is. That and the uh, customer service issues on Origin. I knew a person who, uh, like my WoW guild, was slowly starting to make their way to the Old Republic, and and one of them just. I'm not even entirely sure what happened. It, uh, the account. Somehow, the, the person could not get on the account anymore. I think the password was changed or something like that. And at that point, they'd added in... Or she... No, she forgot the password. And she was going to... Or at that point, they'd added the security questions. And she never filled one out. And so the, the origin customer service person kept on asking, well, what's your security question? And she didn't have one. And so at that point, they couldn't unlock the account. And the, the customer service agent just basically made that out to be, oh, well, you know, too bad, so sad. That was That's kind of your fault, not mine. That's not going to get you customers. I mean, you know, this person isn't playing tour anymore and, and has no inclination of coming back. So, and I've had kind of my own little run-ins with Origin and, and especially when tour went free-to-play and I had questions and, and the guy 
the customer service guy who should at least have a script uh, about what the the differences between a, a free-to-play account and an actual account are, this guy knew nothing. What the crap? You should at least have some kind of a script right there, dude. But no. So he couldn't answer my questions, and uh, I didn't go back to Tor for quite a while, and, and found that the only way to go back to Tor was to pay. So that really didn't work out as beneficial as Bioware made it out to be. Oh well. Thanks, EA. I don't really think that was entirely Bioware's fault. I, the big licensor had something to do with that, too. I think, you know, they they were more interested in pumping out a Dead Space game, I guess, than pumping out a Bioware game, and the Bioware game earns them more money. The Dead Space game earns them more controversy. And I'm sorry, you're not, Ro you're not Rockstar. <laughs> you can't get away with the controversy. All right, I'm done. I'll get off my soapbox on EA. I have hatred. What, I have hatred issues. What can I say? And we are just slowly making our way through the Ice Pyramid. I, you know, Ice Pyramid is probably one of the... You know, I want to say it's the, one of the longer dungeons, but it really isn't. <laughs> now that I think about it, because the Fire Crystal one is pretty long, too. And uh, the tower that you have to go for the Wind Crystal... Hmm, that's... that's really long. So, I was about to say, yo, this is a really long dungeon. No, never mind. It's actually fairly short. Well, medium. It's not the bone or the sand temple. Is that what it was? Or the bone cavern? One of the two. I don't remember this stuff anymore and I'm still playing the game. Yeah, I think it was the bone cavern. But Adam, why can't you remember the game you're playing? I remember the game I'm playing. It's just names are escaping me at the moment, and I'm having massive ADD at the moment. So, yay! Mm. But we are getting close to the end, though. I know that. Ah, there we go. And that's gonna be the next floor. Except I'm going backwards. What? Oh, yeah, I wanted to go see what the other chests were. <sighs> I'm a little loot whore. I want to see what is in the chest so that I can learn to avoid it next time. And then most likely I won't avoid it next time. Now, somebody was asking uh, what other games am I playing, you know, currently. Uh, like I said, I was playing the Assassin's Creed games. I'm playing through the God of War games because 3 had me interested as well as uh, uh, Ascension, I guess, is the fourth one. Yeah, Ascension, which is supposed to be a prequel. I'm not sure how that works, but... Um, so I'm playing those. I'm playing... Obviously, I'm pre-playing games for Drac and Shadow as well as uh, for this one, the upcoming LP. Uh, so I've got those. I've got Mass Effect 2. I've been trying to bust out for a while now. Uh, finally, I actually was about to beat it, but then I decided to go back and uh, do the DLC for it, since Bioware gets really great acclaim for its DLC, and DLC, I, I haven't seen, you know, really, really good DLC coming out from most anybody. So, I think the last DLC I did was the Lords of Shadow uh, stories, which didn't explain the story as much as I wanted. But. That's a game I'm actually excited for. I'm excited for the DS Mirror of Fate, although I think that's out already. I haven't checked. Or 3DS. My bad. And then uh, Lords of Shadow 2. I'm just excited that we're, we're starting to get 3D Castlevanias that don't bite horribly. Anyway, that's a story for another day, and uh, we'll be right back as soon as we tackle more of the Ice Pyramid, and hopefully we're going to hit the uh, Ice Column. We're, we're pretty close to him. But, uh, yeah, so we'll be right back.